What would you do if you noticed change in a friend's behavior? What if they were staying up all night, suddenly spending large amounts of money, losing weight, sleeping all day, saying they might be depressed? We're all busy with our own lives, and it's easy to miss the signs that someone we care about could be going through a rough time. But even if you did notice the signs, would you know what to do? Chalk it up to its average college student life. <laughs> I mean, everyone's pretty much tired and out of it all the time here, so. People want to feel like you care about them enough to ask, so you should definitely ask. If I knew they weren't sleeping, I'd have to ask what's up. You may hear, yes, I'm feeling depressed, or it's really hard for me to get out of bed. My boyfriend went through that a lot. I thought he was just always really burnt out from school, but he just stopped sleeping. I remember it's like that now, like, the dude does not sleep. It just kind of spiraled. So because I kept making excuse for like excuses, I'm like, oh, he's just tired, no big deal, don't worry about that. Like, it started going on for months. It's a serious issue and you want to make sure that you approach the person privately to ask them what's going on with them. And once that happens, you want to make sure that you are their liaison to getting services. Well, I can't really do anything because I'm like a shopaholic too. Definitely have him buy me some stuff. Probably some new shoes. I don't know though. I had a friend like that that's like spend money like that and I took his credit card away. If you have a friend who's spending money recklessly, I mean it could be indication of depression, it could be indication of mania. Actually I've done that when I was upset. I'd be like, hey guys, let's go shopping, and then I'll go like impulse buy, I'll buy new stuff for my phone, new stuff for my dorm. You want them to know that they're not as good as they think they are at covering it up, which makes some people feel like, okay, you know, people are now figuring out that there's something wrong with me, I might as well come forward and, and ask for help. If he seemed like he was just drinking for fun or he was celebrating something, I would think it was normal. I wouldn't judge him or her for the amount of alcohol they drink. Sometimes people just don't know, may not know their limit. Honestly, I'm 21. I probably wouldn't think very much of it. If you have a friend who you, uh, who you know to drink a certain amount or do a certain amount of other drugs, and now you're seeing increases in that, that could be a very serious concern. I can understand if you're a social drinker, but if, you know, if you're drinking every day during school hours, even like you know, have a test the next day and you're doing it, drinking the day before, you gotta talk to them, see what's going on. You wanna keep checking back on that person because if they say that everything is okay and you don't see a major improvement, you may wanna consider stepping up the intervention. Bring in somebody that's trained in these kinds of things, professional, go to you know a counselor. Um, they always offer them on this campus and so it's definitely someone you wanna to turn to if you're really concerned. I would just try to be more proactive with that friend. A lot of times people just need someone to listen to them, so I'll be that person. Ask more detailed questions around what possibly is going on that might make them depressed. Anything that you can do to help is great, but also you want to be as helpful as possible to get them to a clinician. And this is somebody who might be considering counseling, but doesn't have the strength because of the symptoms of depression to actually get themselves there. I did have a friend like that, and um, he actually sent me a text saying, you know, I can't take it anymore. You should always get the people whose job it is to do this to help you to help your friend. I took my cell phone and I ran down to my counselor and that night he was like, you know, thanks, you actually, you know, kind of saved me there. To learn more about how you can be there for your friends and to find resources on your campus, visit halfofus.com.